The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, one of the big national weather stories lately has been just the absolutely relentless snow that they've seen in the central Sierra Nevada. So UC Berkeley's central snow lab, 256 inches of snow over the last two and a half months. So since October 22nd, compare that to Roanoke. So snowfall total since 2004 in February. 255 inches. So over the last 18 years, less snow falling in the Star City than they've just received in the last two and a half months. That's just amazing. And of course, we haven't really seen much snow so far this winter uh, with Phil. The big winter so far, just a half an inch of snow. Lynchburg, a tenth of an inch, just a trace for Covington and Roanoke and Danville has been completely snowless so far this winter. We are tracking a storm system that's going to roll into the area later on this week. There's the potential for some mountain snow with that one, the western facing slopes. Good chance to see an inch of snow or potentially maybe up to three inches of snow. Um, but uh, Roanoke, Lynchburg, uh, south side, those kind of places that are a little bit further to the east, probably not going to see any snow with this one. When the chance for snow does increase a little bit more, we will certainly let you know about it here on 10 News. Uh, certainly not going to see any snow today, partially because it's just too warm outside uh, right now. Temperatures in the 40s for Roanoke, Lynchburg, Smith Mountain Lake, and we're actually in the low 40s, Danville, South Boston as well. It is a little bit cooler if you live in the New River Valley, uh, Blacksburg coming in at 39, and then up in the Highlands, you can see Covington at about 39 and Lexington 36 degrees. I do believe the temperatures will continue to warm up as we head into our afternoon. A few places are likely to peak in the low 50s for the high temperature, and then we're likely to fall as we head into our evening. You can see by uh, 9, 11, even 1 a.m., uh, we're down into the 30s, probably going to start the day tomorrow close to freezing, but I do believe the temperatures will bounce back once again tomorrow afternoon. We're going to be pretty mild for this time of year with a lot of places getting into the 50s once again. Following that storm system I mentioned, though, we are going to see a dip in the jet stream, and it does look like the temperatures are going to be cooling down as we go into Friday and this weekend. The potential maybe for some of our lows to be down in the 20s over the upcoming weekend. So eventually it will turn cooler and also windy by the time we get to the weekend. Before uh, that happens, it looks like like that front is going to bring some rain and potentially some mountain snow. You can see where that front is currently or it will be located on Wednesday morning, still well off to the west. We're still enjoying high pressure on Wednesday, so I think we are going to stay dry tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds overhead. As the front gets closer to us, you can see the green on the map associated with it, indicating the potential for some rain as we go into the later part of Thursday and Thursday night. Also out ahead of that front, I think it's going to be pretty warm and also breezy on Thursday. Once we get that front pushing off to the east, you can see the blue showing up on the map, indicating that potential for some mountain snow along the west facing slopes. Uh, so uh, the winter weather risk, risk for later on this week is in the forecast again for those places. Uh, snow and sleet possible Friday, maybe some mountain snow kind of lingering on Saturday. Uh, the potential for uh, winter weather on Thursday is not in our forecast, but again, there could be some precipitation in the form of rain that's looking like the later parts of the day and into Thursday night. So here's the forecast for the next 24 hours. Uh, a little bit breezy yesterday. We're not really dealing with the wind today. It uh, looks like our high this afternoon about 52. Uh, we will have some sunshine, but also a few more clouds than we had yesterday. Partly cloudy overnight tonight and pretty seasonable for this time of year. Close to freezing for the low in Roanoke. And then I don't think we see any big changes on Wednesday as high pressure stays in control. But as we've been telling you all week, it looks like that cold front is going to cause some impacts to the area. Potentially some rain on Thursday and then mountain snow on Friday. The wind picking up as we get closer to the weekend. I do believe, Alyssa, as we go into early next week, the temperatures are going to bounce back. So a lot of people have the day off on Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and that one uh, looking like it will be pretty comfortable. Well, good. Something to look forward to. You know I always jump to those two red days. I know it's Tuesday. Gotta know what the weekend looks like. I just want to know like. what the weekend looks like, you know? You don't. You do it. I, well, I work on the weekend, if you remember. I've lived that life. <laughs> so, so now that I don't, yeah. I look forward to the weekend. But your weekend, you know, you always look I, for Thursday actually, and Friday. I hope that the weather's quiet on the weekend, so I don't have as much to worry about <laughs> You're not when as I'm busy. forecasting the weather. No, so, I get it. Yeah. All right, thanks, Justin.